Hey, thank you for coming back. And today I'd like to talk to you about another webcam. And here's the box. It is the Creative Live Cam Sync 4K. And yes, my video looks a little different right now because I am using the built-in webcam and microphones of my laptop. So the reason for that is so you can hear and see the performance between the built-in microphones of the laptop and webcam uh, compared to a webcam with built-in microphones. And this is what the camera looks like. This is it right here. Now this has a 95 degree field of view. It has dual mics, which are, you really can't, I don't think my camera's going to, the camera on this is going to pick it up. Oh, see that little dot right there and here? On the, right there and there. That's the dual microphones. It also has on top, you're going to see two buttons. This button right here is the backlight compensation button where you can manually press it and it'll change it. And this other button, it looks like a slider switch. That's a manual mute button for the webcam. It also has a privacy cover, which is just basically a silicone cap that's on there. Now this is a manual focus webcam, meaning you're going to have to turn the lens itself on the camera to get it in and out of focus. Now if you're not planning on putting stuff right up close like this and things of that nature, then just leave the focus alone. Don't play with it because it can be a pain in the butt to get it back into focus, especially if your eyesight ain't that great. Kind of like mine. Um, it has your traditional type laptop lever on it where you're going to put it on top of the laptop or monitor and close this part up nice and tight and it'll hold it in place. And then of course you can kind of, let me, you can kind of tilt it. There's a little bit, very little bit of tilt, you know, this way, but you, it does turn 360 degrees but there's a little bit of tilt this way, not a whole lot, but there is some tilt to it. Also, if you don't want to put it on a monitor or your laptop cover, you can, because there is a tripod mount on the bottom, which is a quarter 20. You can put it on a tripod of some sort. It does terminate in a USB type A, uh, and the cable length is 1.8 meters or 5.9 feet. So it's a pretty good distance or a pretty good length of cable there. Now, the sensor that this camera uses is the Sony IMX 8 megapixel sensor. Um, now, in order for you to use the 2K and 4K um, capabilities of this camera, you have to use third-party software like OBS. Um, my laptop can only go as far as 1440. I mean, there is certain things you can do if you look online. You can find where you can edit the software and the camera app in Windows to probably go a little higher, but just stick with a third party software because you're going to have better control over the brightness level, the color, the hue, all that good stuff with third party software because that's what they're designed to do, not the camera app. The camera app is just basic and that's it. I wish Microsoft would change that, but you can at least change the brightness level uh, in, when, in the camera app. I do have a video showing you that, and I'll leave that in the description below, and I'll be right back. Okay. Ah, well, sorry about that. That's what happens when I record here at work. I get phone calls. But, yeah, uh, pretty much that's it for the specs on everything of this uh, webcam. So let me stop right now, get into the test video, then I'll come back and give you my final thoughts. Be right back. Okay, so what you are seeing and hearing right now is the Creative Cam, Live Cam Sync 4K in action. Now, I am using the camera app that's built into Windows. And right now, I didn't adjust anything, no brightness levels or anything in the uh, camera app. 
So this is what it looks like straight out of the box. Same thing with the sound. Now, I actually had this set at uh, 1440p. Uh, that's the highest I can go with the camera app in Windows, and this is what it sounds like. Now, I'm going to turn the brightness down a little bit. Uh, let me open that up, and let me get it down to something where I think it's a little bit manageable. And that's at negative 30 brightness in the camera app in Windows. And I think this actually looks really, really good. Now, of course, when you start getting up into the higher resolutions of any webcam, you know, anything that's above 1080p, if it looks kind of laggy or jerky or something of that nature, it might not necessarily be the camera or the software, but the computer you're using it on. So like with my computer, if I were to put it up to the 4K uh, video settings, it's going to look kind of really crappy um, because my processor and the computer or the laptop that I have is like six, seven years old and it really can't handle that type of resolution. So you got to remember that. Now what I'm going to do is pause the video and then I'm going to show you this webcam in 1080p resolution. I'll be right back. Okay, now this is at uh, 1080p at 40 frames per second. Oh, and the 1440p, the previous clip I just showed you was in 30 frames per second. Now, as you can tell, it brightened up a little bit. I'm at negative 30 in brightness. Let me get it down a little bit more. There we go. That's negative 36. And yeah, I'm still a little whitish. You know, the shirt here isn't, you know, it's a little bit too black. But I still think it gives you a really good representation of what this camera can do. Let me take the brightness level down a little bit more. That's at negative 64. But let me get it back up to negative 36. One of the things I'm going to try right now is press and hold the... Comp uh, brightness or background compensation button on the webcam itself. And right now it doesn't say, well, yeah, there you go. That's me pressing the button. And you can kind of adjust it. Oh, see, look, that look actually looks a little bit better. I'm still a little blown out, but I think it's still a good thing. Now, Obviously, if you use something like OBS, you're going to have greater control over this camera. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mute the webcam. So right now the webcam is muted. And now the webcam is unmuted. Now, one last test. I'm going to leave it on 1080p. But I'm going to load in the uh, Logitech or the Creative app. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so right now, I reset everything down to zero so I can show you more of the Creative Smart Comms Kit app, or whatever it's called. Uh, right now, the camera is, the settings in the app is the brightness is at zero, contrast is at 32, white balance and exposure is set to auto, the hue is set at zero, and back. Uh, light compensation is set at four and the flicker rate is uh, 60 frame or 60 Hertz or 60 frames a second now let me uh, I'm gonna do the white balance I'm gonna unclick it so I can change the white balance whenever I want and automatically it's set at 4600 so let me move it up so you can see what it does that's up all the way at 6,500 or 6,500. Let me move it all the way down to 2,800. And that's way too blue. So let me set that back to auto. Now the exposure is set at negative six right now. Uh, let me lower that down a little bit. That's 13. That's up to negative one. And let me set that back to auto. The hue is set at zero. And the hue kind of adds a little bit of weird color. As you can see, it's all the way up to 40. 
or all the way down to negative 40, and it turns kind of greenish and reddish. I don't like that. Uh, so right now I got it set at 3. Backlight compensation, like I said, is set at 4. I can go all the way up to 8, or I can go all the way down to 0. Let me bring this up a little bit more. I kind of like it there at 2. And let me set the hue a little bit better here. There we go. That's set at 10. So right now, the brightness level is still at 0. The contrast is set at 32. Uh, white balance and exposure is set on auto. The hue is set at 10. And the backlight compensation is set at 2. And that's just me quickly doing this um, with the app. Obviously, you can take your time and get it going a little bit better. Obviously, if you use something like OBS or some other type of software like that, you'll have a heck of a lot more control over the color, exposure, all that, and contrast and all that. You'll have a lot better control over it. Um, I got the audio quality set at 16-bit, 48,000 hertz. And I got the recording level set at 86%. I'm going to jack it up to 100% right now. And let me take it all the way down to 0%. Okay, now I'm just going to jack the volume back up to where I had it. Oops. I accidentally hit the wrong button. And there we go. So that's back up there again. And... Let me expand my camera app. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad at all. I mean, yes, if I played with it a little bit more for you, it'd look a lot better. But I just wanted to give you a quick test of what this camera is. Like I said, it's at, set at 1080p, 40 frames per second. Well, recording-wise, anyway, in, inside the camera app. And this is what this camera, the creative live cam sync 4k camera looks like uh, using the camera app that's built into Windows like I said if you use a different type of software like OBS or some other type of software out there you're going to get better results because those third-party softwares they have a lot more control over, like I said, the contrast, the white balance, and all that good stuff, even brightness levels. You'll have a better uh, control over the camera and how it looks. This was all just a nice quick look for you, just to kind of let you see what it does. And like I said, even at 1080p, I think this camera is very good. It is a good camera to get. The only thing I wish they would have done was put autofocus in there or did something a little different with the focus ring on the camera itself. All right, let's get back to the video or my review. Okay, so what do I think of the Creative Live Cam? I'm just going to say the Creative 4K webcam. I like it. It does give you a lot. Uh, it, it's a lot better looking than what you're seeing right now. Um, some people may argue that. Some people say this is just fine. But what you're looking at is actually 720p. At, I th it is 60 frames per second, uh, according to the app, the camera app. But this does give you a lot better definition. It gives you a wider field of view. I mean, if you don't care about the 95 degree, if this view is fine for you, then just use the built-in webcam that you already have. I think the microphones perform better in this webcam than what you hear uh, from the built-in microphones of my laptop. But if you are looking for a good webcam that's a lot better than what you're seeing now, then yeah, the Creative Live Cam Sync 4K is the camera to get. But like I mentioned in the test video, just to remember one thing, make sure your computer or laptop or device, whatever you're using the webcam on, can actually handle 4K processing. Um, I actually tried using this on my old laptop here that you're seeing this on. This is like a six, seven year old laptop. Um, and I put it up to 4K, 30 frames a second. And it was kind of jerky. It didn't look good. It, it was 
even the audio was out of sync a little bit. So my laptop can't really handle a high quality 4K webcam. I know, I gotta spend some money and get me a better one. And it's kind of hard in this economy right now. Um, but, so like if you do buy this and it's kind of jerky and everything else, uh, there's a few things. One, your computer just can't handle it. Or two, you got too much software open and running in the background at right now or at that time when you're trying to do a recording. So shutting down some of them background programs and everything might actually help uh, with your video resolution or with the recording of your uh, video. So you got to keep that in mind. There's probably a couple other variables in there to why maybe it's kind of jerky and, and things of that nature. It's not always just the webcam or the software that you're using with the webcam. It could be your computer, your system. You might, like I said, the, the processor might not be able to handle it. You might have too many software programs open and running at that time, which is using processor speed that could be used in your recording and that's why everything looks so jerky and horrible and nasty. So keep, please keep that in mind. On the last note, I would highly recommend you download the uh, SmartComs app from Creative. Uh, there is an update too. So once you download it and you hook all this stuff up, uh, there's a section in there to look for updates. Click on that update because there is an update for the webcam in there. And I don't know if it'll automatically be there or not. So just check for an update. It's always good to do that anyway. But yeah, so I would suggest you get this creative uh, Sync 4K webcam. It's definitely worth the money. It'll definitely improve the way your videos look and sound. But like I said, in a couple other webcam videos, get a good USB microphone and use that along with your webcam, you'll have superior audio that way as opposed to just built-in microphones because these are not always the best, okay? So if you happen to like this video, please give it that thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel and do not forget about that notification bell. It would really help me out a lot if you were to share this video and maybe a few more of my others on all of your social media. And until the next video, you, your friends, your family, and yes, even all of your pets, you all have a great day. I'll see you in the next video.